Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to another Python tutorial video. My name is Jay. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a graph by using just three lines of code. So here's an example of the graph that we'll be creating. It is a very basic heat map graph. And let me close this window and let's get started. So first I'm going to import a Seaborn library. And next I'm going to import the NumPy library to generate, to generate some uh, dominant data. And pandas, and the last library is the mapplotloop.pyplot. Once I'm trying to create a graph uh, by just writing three lines of code, that actually exclude uh, importing the libraries. But anyway, let's first we'll create create some uh, dummy data. So using the numpy library .random random uh, methods and let's do seven by seven so we have uh, seven columns and seven rows and my columns gonna be from a to g so columns and here's my sample data set so here I have an extra parenthesis oh sorry so here this should be a tuple now if I print the data frame we get a table with seven rows and seven columns now we're trying to create a heat map graph uh, based on the data frame uh, data set so now we can use the seaborn library and since we are creating a heat map graph so we just reference the heat map method and we'll pass the data set in this case will be a data frame object if I want to do some configuration on the appearance, so I say I want to set the line width to, to 1 and the line color to maybe blue. I also want to include the annotation. And lastly, there's some keyword values that you can pass and to specify additional formatting. So for example, I want to set the annotation font size to seven. So I'll pass the dictionary with the size uh, with the size key and I'll assign the value to seven. And that's it. So we need to show the graph. So we'll do plot.show. Now if I run the script, and that gives me this beautiful uh, basic looking heat map graph. Now if you want to use a different type of graph for example line graph and you can just use the oops you can just reference the the line graph uh, method and the method name will be line plot except that for the parameters uh the x's so we need to uh specify our x and y uh, parameters so my x is going to be column a my y is going to be column b and my data set is coming from the data frame uh, object now if I run the script, and that gives me a line graph based on the matplotlib engine. So this is everything I have to share in this video. Just a very simple tip showing you how you can use Seaborn library to simplify your graph creation process. And I'll link the documentation in the description below. As always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.